How's it going everybody? Welcome to We Do Tech. So a lot of people are getting into streaming nowadays, it's becoming pretty massive. Uh, but if you're getting into that, you most likely want to get a pretty good a microphone. Now of course you can just use your headset microphone, and yes this one doesn't have one connected at the moment, but it's just for example. Now you can use that sometimes, some of them are pretty good, but most of the times like kind of a bit lacking. So we're going to take a look at a, a bit more of an affordable microphone that could be an option if you are starting out and that is the Fafine K678 which is going for around $60 and that's honestly not too bad. However, there are also some other options that's around the same price point but most are a bit more expensive so you have the the siren mini which is currently retailing for around 50 dollars and it's a bit cheaper i haven't tested it up before so that could be a good option but again most of the headsets are going for a bit more you do have the blue yeti which also isn't really that great of a mic. I know a lot of you will probably ask me to compare it to that. We're not going to do that because it isn't these days that great of a mic anymore. Uh, but there's uh, the Blue Yeti Nano, which is going for around $100. There's the Blue Yeti Snowball, which is also the same price as that, at $60. And there's also like the Raisin Siren X, which is a pretty good a microphone for around $80 or $90. So there's a lot of options that you can take a look at. Uh, we are going to take a look at it against the Aver Media. AM310. We're going to take a look at it against my Audio Technica AT2035, which is a condenser microphone that goes into a, a Zoom recorder. So it's a, uh, it's a XLR mic. Uh, you, with most of these, they're only USB. So it's another factor that you have to take a look at the audio interface, which is more expensive. And then, of course, our most powerful headset here at the moment, the Corsair Virtio SE, with a pretty a good built in a microphone. So we're going to compare it to that later on and see how it compares to all of these because this is more expensive and this is also more expensive and this is also more expensive. So is it going to be worth it? We'll see. But anyway, if you do want to get the Fafina for yourself, definitely go check out our dreamware.tech.co.za where you can get a ton of other microphone and streaming gear as well. Forget about subpar customer service, Dreamware Tech delivers nationwide, keeps you updated on every step of the way. And of course, something very special is that everything comes inside eco-friendly packaging. So definitely go check them out if you are getting into streaming or you just want to get some other gaming gear for yourself. Uh, check out the link in the video description and you will won't be disappointed. But just quickly before I get into the rest of the video, if you guys are enjoying it so far, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel, would be much appreciated. And then also let me know down in the comments below which mic are you using if you are getting into streaming. And then also if you are streaming, let me know down in the comments below what your username is either on Twitch, on YouTube or so on, so we can possibly go check you guys out. But with all of that, let's get into the rest of the video and starting out with the unboxing. So currently, of course, you do have the mic itself. You get a 3 8 inch to 5 8 inch adapter to mount on your boom arm or your mic stand. And then also a, a 2 a meter USB a mini cable uh, that goes into your PC. Now, I would have liked type a C, that would have been a better, but it's, it's fine. At least it's not a USB micro. That's just annoying. But now moving on to build quality, even though it's not necessarily that big of an importance, I have to say that this is one of the best build constructed microphones that I have used so far. This entire thing is made out of metal and it feels so, so sturdy. It feels great, it doesn't feel cheap at all. Um, it is around 1.3 kilograms, which is again quite heavy. So if you do have a boom arm, like we have here, make sure that it'll be able to support that. Some of them are quite a bit cheaper, but for me, I have found that on the Rode boom arm that we use, um, heavier mics usually tend to fare a bit better, so this is a perfect fit for that. Now as for the stand, just again, you do have a full metal construction here, and it does feel again very sturdy. Uh, at the bottom, you do have some rubberized feet here, which does keep it in a place, and it does a pretty good job at uh, preventing the headset from falling over, but it is a bit top heavy, so if you are going to bouncing around quite a, heavy, uh, a lot or if you accidentally like smack it then it is going to uh, fall over so just keep that in mind but if you do have a boom arm of course uh, that's not going to be an issue and if you wanted to you can just 
take it off and mount it on a different stand. And then also, of course, because of the more triangular design, it is going to help out with the cables being mounted at the bottom, keeping it a nice and a clean, uh, so it's not really gonna get in the way. Now, I'm not exactly sure why they went with this exact design, because once we get into the audio quality test, um, the mic sounds are best, facing this way directly towards you. Now, most of the times you'll like to use it like this, where it is actually on your desk, facing more upwards. Uh, what you, you'll, it's the same with most of the other microphones. But with this one, it doesn't really pick up. It, it picks up a lot of background noise that way. So you want to face it directly towards you. And because of that, you can't see your mic mute here. You'll have to take a look at downwards or move it. And then also your knobs here on the front, your gain knob, and then also your headphone knob. Um, that's, it's just a bit of the way you have to actually move it around to see uh, or change anything, see your level. So it's, it's a weird design that they went with. I would have liked if, if at least the mic mute button was also here at the front. So that's, just my two cents there. But uh, speaking of uh, the bottom, <laughs> you do have all of your connector down here. You have your USB uh, mini connector. You do have your headphone out port and then also the three eight inch for again, your uh, boom arm adapter. So that's nice out of the way. You can just unscrew again the legs and you'll be able to use that there. Um, but we'll get into the positioning of the mic because that's also a bit weird, but Let's go over the other features quickly first. So here on the side, you do have your mic mute button where it does show the green if you're unmuted and of course red if you are muted. But then, which is weird, on the other side, you get the rest of the controls. So at the bottom, you do have your headphone volume and then also your mic volume. And that is where it's kind of a bit weird because now, the mic is on the mic mute is on this side the volume is on this side and the mic positioning for the best audio pickup is actually this way instead of usually kind of like this where some of the other mics you know you'll have to face it <laughs> towards you like this but for the best pickup it needs to face directly towards you and now you can't see the mic mute button you can't see the volume knob you can't see the headphone knob so it's a bit of a weird design that they went with and especially with that if you do mic uh, mount it on your boom arm you kind of have to position it so it points directly towards you which is a bit weird so i'm not too crazy about the design per se but it could work just depends so with all of that, let's quickly move on towards the sound quality. Now I'm comparing it again to the other mics um, and see how it compares. All right, so just quickly before we compare the Fafine towards the other mic, let's quickly just hear how it sounds in all of the different directions. So again, we did say that most of the times you'll probably want to use your mic like this, like that, like that. But with this one, it does pick up a lot of the background noise. It is a, a cardioid pickup pattern, so it actually picks up all of the audio this way, uh, where some of the other ones also, but it does a good job at canceling out some of the background noise. Whereas this one, uh, you'll be able to hear that it doesn't sound that great. But if I just push it this way, it's a lot clearer and also, volume wise it's extremely extremely loud so currently it is on the lowest possible volume knob uh, it's on the lowest possible so it's extremely extremely loud so i did find that in stream labs if i take you down to a minus six around minus six it's actually the best sounding then without needing to boost anything it does reduce some of more of the background noise because you do lower the volume and i did find that it just sounded the best for me personally but now let's quickly move on towards the other mics again this is the aver media am310 did do a review on it um we're going to compare it towards the aver media am310 as well it is an xlr microphone goes into an audio interface so it's a lot more than this one and then also the virtuoso is ease which is again mic uh, a headset or microphone so i'm expecting 
to see a nice difference between all of the price differences. So this one is currently retailing for around, or oh, it did retail for around one hundred and forty dollars. That's excluding the audio interface. So that's an extra like a oh, hundred dollars right there. The AM three ten is currently retailing for around um, two and a half thousand rand, which is. I can't exactly remember. <laughs> the Virtuosos is also around $150 or so. And then this one on its own is only $60. So it is a lot cheaper compared to these ones. But I just want to give you guys the sound or differences between them. If you want to go for something a bit more expensive or you just want to start out with a more affordable microphone. But so far you guys can hear the differences between all of the mics. I will be able to switch between all of them and you guys can just hear the differences. Now again, uh, the volume on this one is on its lowest. The Avermedia is just a standard and then also the AM310 is currently with our audio interface on a medium of volume. All right, so currently none of these have any effects applied. So we're just going to add a, a noise suppression in a, a stream lapse just to hear how that sounds, cancel out some of the background noise because if you're streaming, you'll most probably do that anyway. And that's definitely gonna help out the uh, fine quite a bit here. It'll also help out the other ones, but again, for the price point, this one is going to do quite well. So let's quickly apply that. All right, so now we have our noise suppression turned on. Now, previously, you probably could have heard uh, the uh, lawnmower in the background. It's uh, quite a bit uh, loud. Uh, but now, with the noise suppression on, it should uh, cut that out. So I'm quickly going to stay quiet so you guys can hear. So, yeah, it should probably do a good uh, job. From all of the testing we did, um, it's the only the only problem with the K uh, the K six seven eight is that the background noise is a bit uh, too loud. The, uh, the rumor noise is a bit too loud with this one. But once we turn on the sounds uh, the noise suppression, it actually sounded pretty good. And again, facing this way, if we moved it this way, it, it didn't sound that good anymore. Now again, the price differences between these mics is going to be the biggest factor. Now you'll be able to hear how a sixty dollar mic sounds compared to a hundred and thirty dollars, hundred forty dollars, also hundred forty dollars but still uh, audio interface needed, and then also $140, $150 headsets, a microphone. So overall, I think it's actually a pretty good. It's the only drawback again that I really have is the design, I'm not too crazy about that. Um, uh, it does pick up when you do touch the stand, it does pick them up uh, quite easily and, and loudly. So I would have liked if uh, we did uh, get a somewhat more affordable, um, uh, shock, shock mount like we do get on the AM310 here uh, that was just included of course it's more expensive but if you can get an external one or a third party one that'll be nice I think definitely if you do have a boom arm it, it's going to be a necessity to get that but yeah it's actually not uh, too uh, bad now we're going to move these ones towards the side. So that's pretty much it for our look at the fine K678 because 78 nine <laughs> but anyway so so far i'm actually quite surprised at how good the microphone sounds again it's not going to sound as great as the other microphones but for 60 dollars that's not too bad if you're just starting out of course again you can use your headset a microphone but the differences there is still quite noticeable once you apply some effects we didn't do any crazy editing for uh, for the for the audio so you can do that of course we just add noise suppression and just with that it did a really good job but in the end it's mostly just going to depend up to you and your budget of course are you able to spend double the amount to buy like let's say the Avermedia or the Audio Technica even a more it's it's a big leap going a double of the amount so if you only have 60 dollars to spend this is going to be a very good option of course you can use your headset microphone but usually not that great you do have some of the other options that you can go for the the snowball which apparently is a good uh, i have an own one the same goes for the uh, raisin siren mini it's quite a bit mini but uh, yeah, i haven't actually watched any reviews on it but apparently it's good so 
So that is going to be your option to, to go for. But from all of my testing, all of my listening to the microphone, it sounds pretty good and it's definitely a good a budget option if you are looking to start out or possibly move away from your headphones, a headset, a microphone towards something a bit more professional. So yeah, the Fafine K6, 7, 8, a good a budget option to start out with uh, or you just if you just want to take a stream to the next level. So a big shout out to them for sending it over for a review. If you guys want to get it for yourself, definitely check out the links in the video description. Again, get it on DreamWorld Tech for Yearns of Africa. And if you guys enjoyed this review, please like, share, comment, comment like always. And I'll check all of you next time. Cheers, guys.